Hi, I'm going to do a video here on uh, updating updating your bolt list on your drawing or understanding it a little better. So I have this drawing here. I'm going to just go into my view box, uh, model box, and I'm going to see we have these four beams going across here on the dunnage, and they're identical beams. As you can see, if I select that and isolate identical, you can see those four are identical. So, actually, if I isolate identical and select the beam, that's the way I want to do it. Sorry, I did my selection process wrong. So, those are your four beams. So, we're going to go back and let's go in to this piece detail. So, if you can see the bolts here, there's four bolts on either end. They're pointing outwards. So, that means to erect this, you need eight bolts. And there's four beams, so there should be 32 bolts on the bolt list. So, let's go to show assembly detail. And you can see that there is 32 bolts. So, just to understand how that works, if I go in here, advanced joint properties, and let's upgrade this to master, bolt parameters, invert and main. So I've turned these bolts all around, so they've turned all around, you can see. So I'll go back to the drawing and go to update lists, level dimension, update lists, and these bolts should disappear, yes. So now if I go back here, and let's say I delete this giant box, and then I do, I'll just select these separately. Advanced properties, invert. Now you don't have to delete that, you could just remove it from the group if you want to, which is probably better. Um, so if I go back in here and I go to update lists, those four bolts that I turned around are after coming in there now. <clears throat> now, obviously that's not what you're going to do, you're not going to have four on one, but it's just to show you how it's controlled. If I, if I do this one, advanced giant properties, and do the same thing, and select both of those, advanced properties, invert them, and then you'll see it's the same thing. So that's how you control this. It's all about the head of the bolt. The head of the bolt is what controls it. So basically, the head of the bolt is on the beam side. It goes with this one. Over here, the head of these bolts are on this side, so they go with this one. And that's how that works. Alright. Take care. Bye.